Alright, so today's video will be a guide on how to set up a great one grind. First thing, well, you don't need this, but for your great one grind to be better, you're probably going to want the tent and tripod pack because you can get better angles on deer or whatever you're going after farther away. But first things you first thing you would need to do is Pick whatever map you're going to use to grind either a whitetail uh, great one, bear great one, moose great one, anything like that that has a great one. So you're going to need to go around the map and find all your drink, drink zones first. And depending on which map you are, there could be... Well, depending on which map, you can, what I would usually start with is like 50 drink zones, give or take, to start your grind with, and then just go from there. If you find another zone, then use that one too, but I'm going to use uh, Revatuli Coast. Um, there's going to be a map on the screen, and it's going to show your possible zones and your confirmed zones to give you an idea of where your zones will be on Rev. So, next thing is going to be tent placement and tripod placement. So, as you can see, I have no drink zones over there, or I have my tent. And my tripod so I have one zone right here one back there and one over there so I have the perfect like viewpoint so that way I can have all three zones in my sight at all times so that way if I spot something bigger back there than what's up here and over there then I'm gonna take that and then go to those zones if there is something still there. But. Other than that. I would just have. It has to be. I think it's like 200 yards away or so. Um, Away from a water hole. For the animals to actually spawn. Into the water zone. So whitetail. Uh water zones times are is 8 to 12 like that's most of the water like the times sometimes it can be I think it's six, 1600 to whatever and what I usually do is I usually keep one tent and one tripods with me at all time so just in case i do find another watering hole for deer and it's a good one that way i already have it and i can place the tent and stuff wherever i need it or want it and what you want to do if you're using herd management for this is you want to leave all the ones so leave all the one ones and take the twos and above but if you're trying to stack diamonds as well then leave the diamonds so level three or 255 and you're going to want to have interior zones and exterior zones. 
So what that means is where I have all my tripods and stuff set up right now, that's my interiors or yeah, interior zones. So that's where all my deer are. So say if I want to move if I clear out all the level twos and there's only level ones, I go to either another interior zone that I haven't got yet or an exterior zone that I know has either twos or threes in it. But other than that, there's really, there's a couple more things, but I mean, now, if you really, really want to grind them, you can um, search for their feed zones. And it should be like 400, well, 200 to 400 yards away from wherever they was drinking. So, you can, if you want to really, like, grind them, then you can go find their uh, feed zones as well. But I really wouldn't do that. I would just stick with the watering. Well, the water zones. So. And then. Um, loadout. I would use. The 7 Magnum. 308. Just in case. Like, if you don't have any more ammo for the 308, you can pull out the 7 Magnum. And if you're taking one with the 7 Magnum, and you have the 308 and it's full of ammo, you can use that. But, one other thing is, you only want to take two out of the four, like, deer that are there. So, say if there's four level f twos or four level threes you only want to take two of them out you want to leave the other two so that way your zone doesn't get deleted because once you kill four animals in that one zone it gets deleted and then you gotta refine that zone and it's not going to be in the exact same spot so say take Take that one for example. If I killed four and four deer there, it would have got deleted, and it would have been, it could have been anywhere else on the map. So you only want to take two out of the four. But, yeah, that's pretty much all, like, that's pretty much for every single, like, grind. So, bears, moose, whitetail. You only want to take the twos and ups if you're doing herd management. If you're not, then you can take whatever. But, so far from personal experience... I would, I would definitely do herd management just because it's the easiest and you get more diamonds because the game, like, it, it tries to fix itself when there's only does and ones at their, wa at the water hole or zone, whatever, and yeah, it tries to fix itself. So it spawns more diamonds in because it thinks you're not having fun anymore on the game. And 
they want you to play it more and have fun. So it tries to fix itself and then you get more diamonds out of your great one grind. So that way if you make YouTube videos like I do, you can use that for clips and stuff. But that and you also get using herd management. I don't know if it's just me or not or what it is, but I get more pie balls and stuff like that. And melanistics and stuff. From using herd management. But that might just only be me. But I definitely. I can say I definitely get more pie bots and stuff. And another thing I would I would carry with you is the deer grunt. The deer grunt crawler and the um other deer collar. I forgot what it's called, but and the moose collar if you're going for moose as well when you're doing the great one grind. Oh well, great one white tail grind too. And as you just saw right there, I didn't take that second one out just because I want one to at least still be there so that way it's not that it's not just that level one right there plus all the does so that way it has more of a chance of spawning the the uh, level two that I just killed. Of respawning it. But I mean you can take them both. It's still probably going to respawn them both. But I just like to only take one at a time. And you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. And you don't have to run over to it. You can place a tent over there. So you can just fast travel. But... You can only have, I think it's 16 tents on a map at one time. And it's like... And it's only like, um... 20 to 21 tripods, I'm pretty sure. On one map. So, that's also why you want to, uh... Do only your interior zones. Is so that way you can get more level 2s and level 3s out of your grind. But once you, like I said, once you clear out like the level 2s and level 3s and they don't, uh, don't respawn anymore. Just go to either one of your extra interior or exterior zones or interior zones and start with, in do the exact same thing that you did with the other zone but I mean other than that the grind is fun and it's easy but it could so one thing I've also seen too is It could be, you could get a great one in less than 100 kills, or you can get it in up to like 3,000 kills. Like, it, it just happens, because it's like, when you have only level 2s and, I mean, level 1s and does on the map, 
it thinks you're not having fun and it spawns a great one. Exact same thing with like diamonds and stuff when you're doing herd management. And that's how great ones are spawned. But I would definitely, definitely for sure carry an extra tent and one extra tripod. And not use all your tents or tripods on all any of the zones. Like I would use up to like 15 or so. Or either between 13 and 15 tripods, 15 to 13, or 13 to 15 uh, tents. So that way you can at least place two extra ones if it has a diamond in it or a diamond potential or anything like that. But, I mean, that is pretty much all I have to say about, like, grinding a great one. It's, it's easy, it's fun, and if it's, if you get bored of it, then you don't have to keep doing it. You can either stop it, or you can go grind a, a moose or a bear. You don't have to keep up the same grind if it's getting bored. But, oh, and you can grind for fallow deer too. I mean, it's pretty much all the same for every great one. But if y'all want either a fallow deer, a uh, great one grind, gr uh, guide, or a moose great one gr a guide, or anything else that has a great one. So red deer, moose, bear, fallow deer, white, white tail. Like, if you want a more in-depth, depth. depth great one uh, guide then just leave it in the comments and I'll do it so that's pretty much it for this video I mean it's not yeah it's not the best like guide or tips or anything like that for a great one guide but it'll get you started at least if you have any more questions or anything, you can either go to the comments and ask them, or go to my Discord server and ask them. But, yeah. Other than that, I mean, that's pretty much all for the video. If you did like it, then like and subscribe. If you didn't, then tell me what I need to fix or anything like that, and then I'll fix it. But other than that one, I say we're pretty much done.